My name is Arlene Yu, and I work at the Jerome Robbins Dance Division of the New York Public Library for the Performing Arts. That's located in Lincoln Center. I manage the collections there, which means I monitor the usage, the storage, and the care of the collections over the long term. One of the things I love about working for the Dance Division is that I take great pride in the fact that we are the largest collection in the world devoted to dance. We are also covering more than just what people might typically think of dance. We cover martial arts, gymnastics, and ice skating, for example, in addition to practices like yoga and Pilates. One example is Carl Van Vechten, a dance critic, a novelist, a journalist, and finally a photographer. Recently, we looked at his slide collection, which document his preoccupation with performers of the day whenever he was photographing. We've recently digitized the Carl Van Vechten slides. This project came as a result of a request from the artist Nick Mouse, whose exhibition at the Whitney is currently up and features over 800 of those slides. My name is Eric Schaus. I'm Digitization Services Manager here at New York Public Library, and we are dedicated to the high-resolution imaging of New York Public Library's special collections primarily. This entire facility is dedicated to the back-of-the-house processes that really help the massive institution that NYPL is. Conservation is here, archival processing is here, books order that distributes books for the entire system is here, and the digitization lab is here. The Carl Van Vechten Slides project initially came to us as a public order. 826 slides were ordered out of a collection of nearly 3,000. In this case, we had six weeks start to finish, so our time frame, the actual shooting time, was pretty limited. When we received this request, it was a larger order than we normally take on. All of the rest of the workstations were pretty occupied with other projects. We reached out to Digital Transitions at that point. They provided us with a DT Atom workstation with a Phase One IXG camera, and we were able to complete the project on time. We're using Phase One's cultural heritage version of Capture One across the board. We're using Phase One cameras across the board, and we're using Digital Transitions workstations. So using the DT Atom and Phase One's IXG camera was really helpful for the Carl Van Vechten slide project. And having that consistent ecosystem really helps the photographers in the lab move from one project to the next and to be able to photograph all of the many materials that come through here. If we had used our old legacy scanners for this project, we would still be working on the project at this point. So we're providing them online, so they're accessible. You can look at the entire image, you can zoom in. So it's really turned into something that started in an archival box and is taking place in the real world and is accessible anywhere.